Welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I hope all of you are too. And we're going to learn a little bit of more history of the Philippines. And we're going to learn about Andros Bonifacio Monument. And we all know who uh, Bonifacio is and was. An absolute hero to the Philippines in my opinion and many others. Led their revolutionary uh, movement. Um... He did many great things. He absolutely loved the country of the Philippines. He fought for what he believed uh, in. He also died for what he believed in. He, he led many, many people in the revolutionary movement. Um, and he died for it. He died for it. But, you know, things that you really believe in, things that um, is a great cause, as such as freedom you know, in your own country, those things are worth dying for, and that's what Bonifacio did. What a great man. He led the KKK. Um, it was a group, you know, that fought for the rights. So, um, we're gonna learn, I don't, I don't know a lot about him, but I do know those things about him. So we're gonna learn more about him through this short video. So let's check it out. Let's react to it. Let's see what we can learn. Definitely fill me in more facts about Bonificio because I want to learn everything I can about the man and we'll make more videos of him. So let's check it out. Let's react. Let's do this. A spot filled with speeding vehicles. A starting point for Russian commuters and to some, a busy commercial district. Most of the people living in the metro may know Monumento this way. When in fact, it holds a greater historical and cultural value. Situated in Caloocan City and cutting through four major roads in the city, namely Rizal Avenue Extension, <coughs> Rizal. MacArthur Highway, Letre, and Edsa. Monumenta covers an area of 200 square meters, about the size of a tennis court. It is called Monumento, for here stands the shrine of Katipunan's supreme leader, Andres Bonifacio. The shrine has a total height of Beautiful 45 statue. square feet, wow. or as tall as a five-story building. Our monument, my In 1929, apologize. on the date of Bonifacio's 66th birthday, Doña Aurora Quezon, Quezon, wife of then Senate President Manuel Quezon, installed its cornerstone. After which... And Quezon did a lot of great things as well, like bring uh, refugees over. Um, we've did videos on him, but this is about Bonifacio. They looked for the best design suited for it. The design depicts 23 bronze figures rendering a series of pain, wow. struggles, and initiation of Philippine revolt. Deep it was a masterpiece of our national artist for visual arts, Guillermo Tolentino. The design was brought into reality with the help of Tolentino's Beautiful. fellow artists and sculptors, Anastasio Paedo and Francesco Ricardo Monti. The construction of the iconic tribute to Bonifacio lasted for three years. It was made of bronze cast all the way from Italy. Wow. It was enough to withstand the test of time for over 80 years after it has been erected in 1933. Been there a long time. According to a historian, Tolentino really gave an effort in doing the design of the monument. And something you look at the Bartayo, <laughs> nagkaroon muna talaga ng matinding pag-aaral si Tolentino sa kasaysayan. Hindi lang siya nakapokus kay Andres Bonifacio, bagkos sa buong Katipunan. The Presidential Museum and Library also says that Tolentino's Bonifacio was done in a classical sense. Ang lahat ng mabuti mong hangarin ay maaabtan kung ikay mahinaor, matyaga, at may pag-asa sa iyong gawain. Bonifacio expresses almost no emotion. Right. A cool, calculating, even serene leader in the thick of battle. But his love for the Philippines and for freedom turned this meek man into a fight. Warrior. Yung pangkukonsepto niya kasi. Absolute warrior. Malawak. Malawak ng malawak. Una, ang obelisk kasi kung tutusin sa Egypto, ibig sabihin nun, gateway of the gods. Sa monumento naman ng interpretation nun, ang katipunan ang haligi ng kalayaang Pilipino. Oh. And then came the revolution. They were armed with bolos and bayonet-tipped rifles. And with adamant desire to liberate the country, 
They struggled their way to freedom. Yes, and these did. inhibited in Tolentino's design. Yung nandun sa pinakatoktok, yun yung wing goddess of night or the wing victory. Sa Pilipinas sama sa pangkukonsepto, yun ang pakpak ng tagumpay. Dun din, sa monumento mismo, yung kapaligiran niya. Una, octagon yung shape o pangwawalo na kapaligid doon. Nandun yung kinonsepto hey, yung sinan yes, ng araw. Yun yung wow. Nueva Ecija, Tarla, Pampanga, Bulacan, Maynila, Batangas, Laguna, Cavite. Yung beautiful. unang naghimagsik na probinsya na dinekler ni Gobernador General Ramon Blanco ng batas militar noong 1896. Indeed, the Bonifacio Monument has lots of stories to tell about our history. However we may look at it, one thing is for sure that we will still see Monumento as an icon of pride, freedom, and heroism. Kaya tamang-tama ang pangalan ni Bonifacio na may pag-asa. Dahil kung hindi sa isang taong tulad niya, hindi mayayani ang simbolo Absolutely. kung paano natin panalayay ang ating bayan. And he's absolutely right. It's a symbol of freedom. Uh, and it's something that needs to be remembered. It's something that needs to be talked about, uh, especially with the youth, you know. A lot of older people definitely know who Bonifacio is. And I imagine a lot of younger people do, but I also imagine there's people out there that don't really uh, put too much thought into uh, why they have their freedoms, especially, you know, in the Philippines. This man... Um, was a big big piece of that you know leading all the uh, you know he had 10,000 people following him and willing to die for the freedoms that comes with freedom you know and uh you know why do i care well you know my wife's filipino so it affected her history it affected her future and uh without bonifacio doing what he did maybe i'd never meet my wife you know Things add up. Little things, big things, they all connect in, you know, to the future. And definitely Bonifacio played a great, great part in the Philippine future. So, awesome monument. I'd love to go see it in person. It's just majestic. It's, it, it just makes you really think, you know. It, it makes me think anyway. And uh, we need to learn more about Bonifacio and what he did, the struggles that him and his people went through for the greater good, the greater freedom of the Philippine people. Anyway, those are some of my thoughts, my reactions. What are your thoughts? What's your reactions? Let me know down below in the comment section. And the flag, I wanted to talk about the flag on the wall, the Filipino flag. I keep getting comments in my videos saying, man, Max, I love your videos, but your flag is wrong. It's it's saying war. It's not. It's not. It's not. I think a lot of you and some of you are confused. The way I have it is for peace. If you go look at government buildings where the Filipino flag is hanging on the wall, it's exactly how I have it. The blue, when you're looking at it, needs to be on the left, and that's peace if it's hanging on the wall. Of course, if it's hanging this way, you know, uh, horizontal, the blue needs to be on top. So, a lot of people are saying you got it wrong. No, I don't. I have it right. Go look at the flag rules, the laws. Go look how it's hung up in colleges on a wall, or in government buildings on a wall, or even some uh, Mr. President Duterte's speeches. If it's hung on a wall, it's hung like this. I just wanted to say that because I just keep getting all these comments and comments and comments and I, 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 try to res I try to correct people in a respectful way that no, no, you're wrong. <laughs> but anyway, those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. If you like the channel, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you here. We're almost to those 70,000 subscribers and we, we get there probably maybe tomorrow, you know. I'm going to think up of a giveaway because I want to give away something to some of my subscribers and it's going to be like 500 pesos to 10 different or uh yeah, 10 different people, something like that. Anyway, I'll tell you how you can enter once we start that contest. Anyway, it's just a thank you. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Peace, love, happiness. Spread it.